In this video, uh, I will show you how to solve a uh, non-homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations with uh, constant coefficients. Okay. Uh, this method uh, is uh, due to Professor Zhou Tianfan uh, from Beijing University of Technology. Uh, 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 in a conference, Professor Zhou Fan uh, gave a lecture and uh, I was an audience, so I learned this from his talk. Well, uh, we consider this second order ODE, uh, no homogeneous. Okay, so the right hand side is an exponential function multiplying an nth ordered, mth ordered polynomial PMX. Okay, of course, we have standard method to solve this ODE uh, depending on whether lambda, whether lambda is a characteristic root or not, uh, the solution would be x to some power s e lambda x times a polynomial of order m as well. Here s is the order of, uh, uh, how to say, s is the determined by the relation of lambda and the, the characteristic look. If lambda is a characteristic look, then s is 1. Uh, if the order of lambda uh, is a uh, uh, of course, because our equation is second order, uh, s can be only be 0, 1, or 2. Uh, if, if, if lambda is not a characteristic look, then, 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 then s is 0. Uh, okay. So if lambda is a characteristic look of multiplicity 1, s is 1. Then if multiplicity is 2, then s has to be 2. So you need to assume that y, the solution y is of this form. Then substituting this y into the ODE to determine the, the coefficient of this QMX. Now you see this this y uh, is uh, complicated. Uh, let's see how uh, Professor Zhou's uh, method work. Now Professor Zhou's method uh, uh, is as follow: We make a change of variable, introducing a new unknown function z. Then which this z. Uh, uh, you can compute the derivative of y easily and the second order derivative, okay? Then substituting y, y prime and y double prime into our ODE. Uh, so the right hand, the left hand side becomes what? Uh, observe that y double prime, y prime and y, all this has a um, factor, exponential of lambda x. Therefore, you can write the exponential of lambda x. Uh, so the... Uh, it, the, the left hand side become exponential of lambda multiplying this uh, uh, z, uh, z double prime plus plus uh, multiplying this that is the left hand side of course this should equal the right hand side okay that is here then we see that the exponential can be cancelled uh, that is the advantage of this method so we are, we are lead to a new ODE for the new unknown function z, and that is this ODE. Now this is also a second order linear constant coefficient no homogeneous ODE, but uh, the no homogeneous term is considerably to be sim simpler. We do not have the exponential anymore. Okay? And uh, we also don't need to consider whether lambda is a uh, characteristic look uh, and uh, the multiplicity. Okay? We don't need to consider that. We simply, uh, because uh, because the right hand side is a polynomial of power m, uh, we simply assume that z is a polynomial. Uh, we, we only need to assume that z is a polynomial uh, of order m. Okay? Uh, z is m's order the polynomial. Uh, of course, if this is zero, this happens to be zero, meaning that lambda is a characteristic look, root, then uh, z has to be a po polynomial of order m plus 1. Because without this term, uh, if z is a of a polynomial of order m, then the sum of the first two terms only has order m minus 1. So you have to increase the order of z. But uh, you, don't need to, uh, uh, you, you don't need to have the zeroth order term. Okay? The z doesn't, uh, don't, you don't need to assume that z has a constant term uh, in, the case that, in the case that this is zero. Uh, in the case that this is zero, the z will not have an. Uh, uh, constant term, okay? So, anyway, you have this equation, uh, you have this 
you have this equation. Ah, uh, you can uh, assume that there is a polynomial. Ah, uh, okay. Then uh, substitute into the equation to determine the, uh, the coefficient of the co polynomial. Therefore, determine the z. Then this y is the solution of our original ODE. Uh, that is the idea. Now let's demonstrate this idea by some examples. Okay. Our first example uh, is this equation. So, uh, as before, we make the change of variable uh, introducing a new unknown function z. Uh, then, uh, taking derivative, we know that y prime is here, and uh, this is y double prime. Then you substituting y y double prime and y prime into the equation. Uh, uh, it is easy to obtain the a new ODE for Z. This new ODE for Z is also second order the linear con constant coefficient, uh, no homogeneous as well. But the no homogeneous term is simply a polynomial. Uh, the exponential function disappear. Okay. The exponential function here disappear in the new equation. So we can assume that Z is a polynomial. So in, in our case, as I said, the polynomial uh, z is a zero plus a one x plus a two x square. Okay, because the the left hand side, uh, sorry, the, the right hand side is a polynomial of power two. Uh, maybe you want to assume that z is also a polynomial of power two. But uh, because uh, our in our this equation, the the left hand side does not have the um, zero order term z. So if z is only a polynomial of order 2, the left hand side will only be a polynomial of order 1. So this is not enough. So you need to assume that there is still a x cube term. Okay. On the other hand, the zero term is not necessary here. Okay. Because whether you have this zero order term, the left hand side z double prime minus z prime is the same. So we can simply assume that z does not have the zero order term, but uh, in uh, but uh, is uh, we need to assume that it has a cube term, a three x cube. So this is why we assume that z is ah uh, that this is this is why we assume that z is of this form. Okay, here now having uh, uh, obtained the form of z, that is this polynomial i from one to three, uh, substituting this polynomial to the left hand side of this. ODE, Z double prime minus Z prime, and compute, simple computation give you this. Of course, this should equal the right hand side of the equation. Now you compare the, you compare the coefficient of X cube, uh, uh, X square, and uh, this give you uh, this equation. Then you compute, compare the coefficient of, of X term here, so you obtain this equation. Also, the constant term, so we have this three equation. Uh, so it is easy to solve from this three equation, a1, a2, and a3. Therefore, you know what z is. That is this uh, third order uh, polynomial. So having obtained this z, using our uh, relation uh, between y and z, we obtained a solution of our this uh, no homogeneous ODE. Okay. Uh, so this is the first example. Uh, in this example, uh, you should pay attention how we determine the form of Z. Uh, okay. Now let's go to the next example. So this exam in this example, we have a uh, sine two x here. Uh, so the the right hand side, the homogeneous term is not a polynomial multiplying a, an exponential function. Uh, it also has an additional factor sine two x. Uh, so this become uh, more complicated. Well, for this we also have standard method. In the standard method, you need to assume that y is. You need to assume that y is, uh, how to say, x s e to the three x, then times a x plus b cosine two x plus cx plus d sine 2x. You need to assume that there is, uh, what the solution y is of, of this form. 
here the, the s is here x s so if if two if 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 three plus two i uh, because three is from the variable of exponential and the two x so that we have three uh, because of the three, three x here and the two x here so correspondingly if if three plus two i is a characteristic root then the s will be one if if it is not then s is zero so we do not have the x s term here okay uh, so if but if this is a root you need this uh, this term x s uh, okay so of course uh, the form of y here is complicated it you has a polynomial uh, you have a, a exponential and a sine cosine so uh, if you substituting this y into the equation you need to compute the y prime y double prime uh, for this y uh, of course this is uh, not easy uh, uh, a lot of computation so instead of directly assume the form of y here uh, we apply the uh, professor Zhou's method uh, we make a transformation y equal e uh, exponential of 3x z uh, of course why we assume exponential 3x here because we have this here okay because we in our homogeneous term we have expense of 3x therefore we make this transformation then compute the derivative and the second order the derivative and substituting y y prime and y double prime into our equation then you will see that the exponential of 3x will cancel from both sides of the equation and um, okay and we obtain a new ode for the new unknown function z that is this ode okay now this ode uh we assume that um, uh, z is a uh, such a function uh, how to determine the form of z so because we have a sine to x multiplying a uh, first order the uh, polynomial that is our x here so the form of z will have to be a first order the uh, polynomial times cosine to x plus plus another first order another first uh, what's wrong maybe another first order the polynomial times sine 2x so i remind you that although we only have a sine 2x here uh the form of z should contain both cosine and the sine otherwise you might not get the solution on the other hand because our 2i here because of the sine 2x uh, because of sine 2x we need to consider 2i now 2i is a uh, Catalytic root of this equation because the catalyst equation z double prime plus 4z equal to 0 is r squared plus 4 equal to 0. So 2i is a root of this catalyst equation. So because of the, this, uh, we still need to times x in front of everything. Okay, so that is the form of z. Uh, which this form we, we need to simplify it a little. Um, so we we, we we times the multiplying the x uh we multiply the x to uh to both these two uh polynomial uh to get a new uh, second order the top polynomial so this is the form of our z so then you have to compute the derivative of this z you need to compute the z prime z double prime of course this is also painful but at least this will be simpler this will be simpler than computing uh, the this will be simpler than computing the uh, y prime and y double prime from the y given here uh, you can imagine okay this will be simpler than computing the y double prime y prime here because you has an additional factor uh, exponential three x uh, in our z here we do not have exponential so at least computing z prime z double prime will be simpler than computing y prime and y double prime so if you without making the transformation y equal to exponential of three x z you need to 
substituting substituting such a y into the equation. Then you need to compute the y plane and the y double plane. That is horrible. But uh, after the transformation, the exponential disappear. Uh, we only need to compute z plane and z double plane for such a z. That will be easier than dealing with the y. Okay, that is the advantage of this method. Okay, now substituting this z into the ODE into our ODE here. Okay, uh, into our this ODE. Uh, uh, so that is computing the ply and the double ply and substituting to the left hand side. We obtain this. Uh, we obtain this result. Uh, this. This is the double plan plus four z after some uh, uh, simplification, ah, uh, uh, the left computation. Okay, then this is the right hand side. Okay, so we get this result. Uh, so comparing the coefficient, so because the right hand side do not have sine, uh, do not have cosine two x, the coefficient of cosine two x has to be zero. Therefore, this is zero. That is this equation. And uh, now the right hand side is x sine two x. We have a sine two x. Therefore, this this part this part has to be x. That is this equation. Okay. So we obtain these two equation. From these two equation, we can solve the coefficient a, b, c, and d. So, um, firstly. Firstly, uh, sorry. Firstly, we can from this we see the c is zero. Maybe I create a new page. So from this we see the c is zero because the right hand side of this equation uh, do not have x. Okay, therefore. The coefficient on the left hand side of x has to be zero, therefore say it's zero. So and similarly following this we know that a is minus one over eight. Right? Then because say is zero, so this is zero, we see that b is also zero. B has to be zero. Finally we determine d. So we know a, we know a uh, a is minus one over eight. But the two a plus four d has to be zero. So from two a plus four d equal to zero, we can determine the d. Okay. Anyway, a b c d has been determined. Ah, so that that is given. C is zero. A is minus one over eight, and the d is one over sixteen, and the b is also zero. Ah, so having obtained this a b c and the d, substituting this coefficient into the function z given here. Ah, we we obtain the z. Therefore, z is this uh, polynomial. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, not polynomial. z is this function. So, z is a x square cosine two x. That is minus one over eight x square cosine two x, and uh, b is zero. B is zero. D is also sorry. C is also zero. So, our our a uh, our z is given by this. Expression. Having obtained this z, of course you can obtain the solution of our original ODE. That is our y. Okay. Ah, uh, this is uh, that is the method.